Hi there, this is Aaron. Today is Sunday the 8th of March and it's day 5 of 2015 on the allotment. <laughs> well, you can probably see this. Um, it's really not that pleasant. In fact, it's raining. This is supposed to be the weekend where we have the heat wave and yesterday was gorgeous and uh, I left the house to come up here. It's just after midday. And uh, in the time it's taken me to walk here, it's clouded over and now the rain's going to come down. So I'll get done what I can and what I can't is just going to have to wait another time. It's been a couple of weeks since you've seen an allotment video from me, but uh, that doesn't mean I wasn't filming. Um, what's happened is that sort of when I've been up here, the wind has been so bad that you, you really couldn't hear what I was saying. So uh, I've tried to put a few things together that uh, show what we've got up to and uh, let's take a look at that. Well hopefully you can see that inside the shed now things are a bit more organised. I can walk in and get out. Um, everyone was saying where are you going to put that filing cabinet? Well I think that's going to have to be its home for now. Um, inside the shed um, Got a few things happening with the garlic there, um, although I certainly want to be giving it more light because you can see that the ones that are getting the light are the ones that are responding and the ones that are not are not. Um, potatoes continue to not chip but preserve so I mean that's good. Um, as I say I'm not that worried about the chitting uh, this year, I just want to make sure that uh, they're still decent enough when I put them in the ground. There were a few people that were asking about Cheeky and uh, what's happened to him. Well, here he is, and he's found his new home in front of the shed in amongst the rhubarb. So uh, I hope he's going to be quite happy there. Now, I also saw on Mark's video that he said his rhubarb was going to be ready in a few weeks. Well, by the looks of things, this is going to be ready as well. I also saw a video from Sean when he said uh, you can force rhubarb once every three years. Well, I don't know when this was forced, so I'm not going to force it this year and I'm not going to force it for the next couple of years. But what it does look to me is if it's ready to split. So at the end of the season in the autumn, I'm going to dig this up and split it so that uh, I can have quite a few more rhubarb plants and uh, probably even share this with uh, a few of my allotment neighbours but uh, looking forward to rhubarb. One of the things that I needed to do desperately was to get some oil on the wheelbarrow because the wheel was absolutely rusted solid. You couldn't turn it one way or the other. So uh, I finally remembered to bring some uh, WD-40 up and uh, give that a spray to see if I can uh, make it better. And as we are into March, it's also time to get sowing with seeds. So. Uh, there's uh, been quite a lot that's been going on there as well. There's uh, stuff that's on my windowsill, there's stuff that's here, and uh, there's also things that I was sowing yesterday. So let's take a look. I thought we'd have a look at some of the seeds that I'm going to be growing. Well, actually, all of the seeds that uh, I will potentially be growing this year. Um, here, right at the end, we've got the squashes. So I've got some Cheyenne pumpkin from uh, last year. Uh, I have some new butternut squash uh, seeds, and they're both from the Real Seed catalogue. DT Brown, um, I've picked up some uh, courgette. It's the first time I've ever grown courgette, so that's Defender F1. Then we're going to have another go at the cucumber, the Burpless Tasty Green. Now, I grew these indoors in the greenhouse last year, and I think generally that it was too hot for them. So I'm actually going to try and grow some of them um, uh, outdoors this time to see what the difference is. I saw that Allotment Owl uh, grew his burpless outdoors last year and they looked wonderful. So we're going to give that a go. Now what we've also got is both some mango and some giant pumpkin seeds. And I really have to thank uh, Tony from Tony's Allotment and also uh, Chris Muzal from the allotment shed who sent me those so guys thank you very very much for that I really appreciate it um, we're going to have a go at uh, growing something really big this year and uh, those are the seeds to do it in addition to that what I've got along here um, with the yellow top 
that's actually some Cheyenne pumpkin seeds that I saved myself last year. Now this is the first time I've saved seeds and I've got some runner bean seeds, I've got some Bolotti bean seeds and I've also got some uh, Blue Lake um, French climbing bean seeds. I have never done anything like that before and it was been great fun saving them and I'm hoping that I'm going to save even more uh, this year. To go with the beans, I've got some uh, Gigante Greek beans and uh, also some uh, Douce Provence. I grew the Douce Provence last year and uh, uh, I did get some, but I wasn't amazingly happy with the results. But I, I know a bit more now about how to grow peas and so I'm hoping for a better show of things this year. Coming down again, we've got um, my allium, allium. So you've seen me sow... Uh, the yellow Rensberger and the Kelsey. Uh, we've also got some leeks, we've got some Musselboro leeks, and we've also got something here called Autumn Mammoth. I haven't sown those yet. It says don't sow until March, but I, I, I should be having a, a, a go with those as well. So we'll see what happens there. Moving along, um, I've got uh, some uh, full uh, white celery, which is self-blanching. Uh, some Lollaroso lettuce and some golden acre cabbage then we've also got red drumhead cabbage and cos lettuce now both of these seeds are from last year but i think they should still be all right moving um over we've also got uh, some beetroot uh, which is golden beetroot i've never grown that before and some broccoli. Now the broccoli was successful, the early sprouting broccoli, but of course it arrived too late to be on the plot. So we're going to have another go at that this year for next year. Then we've got some red top breakfast radish and uh, another radish, which is the, the long white icicle. So uh, looking forward to some radishes. Coming back, we've got some Magic Mix Cauliflower. Now, my efforts with cauliflower last year were not impressive. So we're going to give that another go as well. Um, we've got some Spinach Beet. We're going to have another go with the Brussels Sprouts. Chris Mazar was also very kind enough to send me a spare pack of the Crispus F1. It's the same variety I grew last year. If you remember, we had a bit of a, um, a, a disaster with that. But uh, we're going to give it another go. Now, he also sent me some spare parsnip seeds from last year, tender and true. But I've also bought exactly the same variety, again, from the Real Seed Catalogue, and that's this year's seed. Now, what I'm going to do, because everybody says parsnip seed doesn't go across from one year to the next, Chris must have been sitting there thinking, why on earth is Aaron saying that uh, he wants some parsnip? Well, I'm going to try both of them together and see, you know, for myself... Um, how that comes out because the, certainly the rumour is that um, the parsnip seeds from last year won't germinate and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these out on a bit of kitchen roll either this weekend or next weekend so that uh, we can see and uh, yeah a useful little experiment so thank you for those Chris then we have some Touchon carrot some Autumn King carrot and also some purple carrot. So uh, plenty of different carrots there that uh, can be grown. Then we start to get into um, the, the, the flower seeds that I've got. So I've got some marigolds, which I planted last week, and some carnations. Uh, I've also got sunzilla, which is a really, really, really big sunflower. Um, they're talking about heads that are two foot across and the whole plant is really huge. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And I've also got some poppies. I've never grown flowers before. I, I did, of course, grow the sunflower last year, um, which is why we're giving that a, a, another go. Um, it wasn't the same variety. But the other flowers, that's all the first for me. So there's plenty there to keep me occupied through the year. Let's hope I don't make a disaster of it, but there's certainly enough seeds on the table. Right, well it's a lovely day today, so uh, I've decided to take a chance. It might be a little bit early for this because uh, the ground isn't going to properly warm up until 
maybe even the second week in May, according to the forecast. Although if you look out today, you wouldn't believe that for a second because it's gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've got one of my module trays, which I've filled up with uh, John Innes number one, and in it I'm going to sow five each um, of some beetroot, some celery. I've got two different sorts of lettuce, two different sorts of cabbage, some cauliflower and some broccoli. And we'll see if these work. I'm only putting in uh, five of each. So, uh, and there is time that if these don't work that uh, there'll be plenty of time to put some more in. And the idea is to get successional um, sewing done. But uh, these are going to be my first brassicas of the year. So I've got my brassica seeds in now. At the top we've got the uh, beetroot. And then next to the beetroot is cauliflower. Further down is some uh, self-blanching celery. Then we've got two rows of lettuce, a row of uh, broccoli, and then these two at the end are the golden acre cabbage and the red drummond cabbage. So uh, that's a nice selection, and uh, I'll get some water, get them covered up, and uh, let's see if they come through. I've put sort of two, and in some cases three, seeds in each station, because they are last year's seeds, and I don't know if they're going to have a reduced um, germination rate but uh, hopefully I've covered my bases there, uh, so that at least one will come through um, in each station, and if not, I'll just put some more seeds in. Now what I've also got is some deep root trainers. I actually bought three of these, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a chance and uh, put some carrots in. I know it's early, but uh, with weather like this, if they can get enough of a start, then just as the ground is um, heating up, I can put them in. Because uh, with these deep root trainers, they yeah they start off like this, and you fill them with compost, and then they sort of uh, close up so that they are about the same size as a loo roll, but sort of they're very easy to open up so that you can reuse them, and uh, hopefully that way that means that I won't damage the tap root, so that I can um, put them in the ground. So uh, let's see if it works. So here are my carrots and the brassicas sitting side by side on a windowsill which uh, does get a reasonable amount of sun and uh, hopefully we're going to get one or two plants out of it so we'll see what happens. Right, so you've seen where we are, now it's time to just get on with things and as uh, Dave might say, crack on. <laughs> One of the things that we do have to say um, is a huge thank you to Mark from uh, Weast Allotments. Uh, I've put the link up before, but I'll put it on again in the top here. <laughs> Mark's doing his uh, top 10 of uh, YouTube gardening channels, and we're surprised, delighted, and more than just a little bit honoured that uh, he's put us in at number 8, uh, just behind Mr Nocton. Um, now, everyone in front of me really does know what they're doing, and so I do feel a little bit like a fraud <laughs> being put in there, but uh, I'm really, really glad, Mark, that you enjoy the videos. Thank you very much for this accolade. And one of the other things is in Mark's last uh, video, he was talking about getting the famous 30 and 35 litre buckets delivered. And uh, I, I'd been looking everywhere and, you know, there's 45 and 55 and 60 quid for 10. And uh, that was starting to look a bit expensive. And Mark put a link up to say, uh, well, you know, you can get them here delivered for 28, 29 quid. Now, I clicked on that link and probably like a lot of people, uh, it was an outdated link. And so it didn't work. So I couldn't get it from that one. I couldn't find the other one. So uh, I wasn't able to order from Mark's link, but he was talking about it with Tony from Tony's Allotment. And Tony put up another link, which I did find, that did work. And so earlier in the week, I got 10 of these delivered. Now, I need to step back a bit. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that, well, if that is a 35 litre pot, then Aaron's a hobbit. And I, I'm not a hobbit, I mean, I'm not the tallest bloke in the world, but, you know, I'm not that short. What's happened is that they've actually delivered, I think these are 45, and they may even be 55 litre pots. 
um, but they're certainly not 35 litres and uh, that's why they look really really big next to me. However, it does mean that I've now got a 45 litre pot, 10 of them, for my potatoes. So uh, Chris, if you're watching, <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> Try and get your record. Uh, I don't think for one second that I will, but uh, I'll certainly give it my best. <laughs> and as you can see, the work still goes on. Here is what's going to be my bean bed for the year. Yeah, you see there's uh, quite a lot more that I've pulled out. Um, a lot of that is actually going to be where there's going to be a path between the bushes and uh, my beans and peas, but we're definitely getting there, as you can see. So, uh, the work goes on and we're getting ready for spring. And so that really does bring us to the end of the day today. Um, it's a bit of a shame that it's all been grey, but we're getting things sewn at home. Uh, things are coming along here. We're gradually getting there. So uh, I'm not unhappy yet. Um, I'm still pleased at the progress we're making. This is of course our first season on this allotment. So it's all about getting it ready. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on The Allotment. Goodbye.